Previously, we sent email, but we all know that sometimes our email doesn't arrive on the mailbox of our users. Or probably we have been marked as a spammer and our emails finish in the spam folder. Previously, we send a lot of emails and we can see here that Kevin at gmail.com got actually bounced. And bounced, it means that the recipient email server permanently rejected the email. And if we click on it, here we can see that we got a better, actually, a better explanation. It's permanent. So let's look at it quickly. Resend as suppressed, sending to this address because it is on the account level suppression list. This does not count toward your bounce rate metric. Okay, so we see here that actually resend catch the status of email that I've sent before. And we can see that every time Kevin has been bounced. Here, delivered or bounced is actually events that are catched by Resend. If we look at the documentation of Resend, we've got an explanation on email events. Here are all the events that can be associated with the email. So we've got sent, and here we see that the API request was successful, and Resend will obtain to deliver the message to the recipient email server. So this first event, sent, it's an event actually that says that recent send the email, but the, the, actually the provider of, of the recipient didn't actually confirm that the email has been received. So it's an attempt to deliver the message. So when you get sent as an event here, it means that actually we are waiting to deliver the message. The second event, it's delivered. Resend successfully delivered the email to the recipient email server. And we can see here that we've got deliver everywhere, especially on, on my fake address on Yop Mail. And here we can see that Resend successfully delivered the email to the recipient email server. So it means at this step that the email has been successfully received by the receiver. However, it doesn't mean that the user opened the email. Okay, we just got the confirmation here at this step. All right, we've got also deliver delayed. The email uh, couldn't be delivered to the recipient email server because a temporary issue occurred. So here you could have also this error because probably you can have an error and we've got, for example, when the recipient inbox is full or when the receiving email server experience a transient issue. So here, most of the time, here, deliver, delivery delayed, it's an error coming from the recipient address or the recipient email provider. Then we've got probably the most interesting event, which is actually the complaint. So here I'm even going to mark it as, as red because here we want to see it. Complaint, the email was successfully delivered to the recipient's email server, but the recipient marked it as spam. Let's give an example. I've got this email right now and up here on Gmail and on every email provider, people can report email as spam. And when you report an email as spam, basically your rate will uh, be uh, downgraded actually. And this is really bad because later you address your email address here that we can actually that we can change often because we saw previously with um, uh, our from option, we can uh, change our email when we own the domain. Here, this address will be downgraded and with time, it will finish actually on the spams. So if I go here on the spams here, we will get uh, some trouble in the future because all our email will finish on spams. And this is something we want to avoid. A video is coming to avoid that our emails are going to end on spam. So complain is really interesting because with complain, we can um, actually identify that the email that we send are actually not really welcome by the recipient. And it can help us to improve the emails that we want to send in many ways. It can be the content, it can be uh, the new address or whatever. We're going to see that probably later. And the last event here that we can have here is bounced. And let's come back, if we come back to our, uh, not the, to our overview, but to the emails, we see here that Kevin at gmail.com is actually bounced. So what does it mean? Bounced, it means that the recipient email server permanently rejected the email. So in the case of Kevin at gmail.com, we can see here that actually Gmail 
so Google Mail. Permanently rejected the email for some reason. Let's talk quickly about this specific here event, which is complain, and let's talk about why my emails are going to spam. I just wrote this quick text here with some help. I've been looking on the web and also using a bit ChatGPT, I have to admit. But let's look at this quickly together. Emails can end up in a spam folder for various reasons. Here's a bullet point list with short explanation for some common factor. So the first reason would be that your email has poor email content. Emails with spammy or suspicious content are more likely to be filtered. So here we can give an example. If you got a title that looks like a, a hook or something that is going to be a scam, most of the time the email providers have filter that can stop your email to be provided or just deliver this email into the spam folder. Um, Google, Yahoo, Gmail, um, uh, uh, Outlook, all those providers, they are going to use filters that will automatically stop your email. So you really got to work on your email content. That's something really important because it can be actually one of the main reasons why your email are not delivered. And it passes through the words that you use, the sentences, um, it also passes by the image and also by the attachment. Sometimes if you deliver attachment that are way too big, you can be considered as a pool, uh, poor email content. The other reason is that you have an unauthenticated sender, a lack of proper authentication. SPF, DKAM, DMARC can trigger spam filter. Here, this is a technical explanation. I'm not going to go really deep into it because I'm not an expert. But sometimes you can trigger spam filter by a low, uh, uh, a low proper uh, authentication system, right? A, a third reason, it's the high complaint rate. So we saw already that you can uh, declare an email as a spam, which you may already know. And if you are too much marked as a spam, it will negatively impact your sender reputation. The IP reputation, it's exactly the same. Probably your server email IP address has a bad reputation due to spamming. So sometimes you got to change. You got to be careful about that. Uh, it can affect the email delivery. The high bounce rate, frequent bounce email indicate outdated or invalid recipient list, which can raise suspicion. Misleading subject lines using deceptive or clickbait subject lines can trigger Spam filter, it's a little bit like the first part here. So I've been spoiling you. Low engagement. So when you send too many emails and you don't get that much engagement, this can be tracked. So if you are tracked as a low engagement email sender, you will have actually probably a high probability to be marked as a spam. Sending too many emails in a short time can be seen as spam spammy behavior. And we already saw through Resend that you should never spam Resend to send your email, otherwise you, you will be blocked. And finally, the last one, blacklisted keywords. Certain words or phrases, I'm not even allowed to say them on YouTube, to be honest, it's exactly the same here, are associated with spam and can trigger filter. So you got to be safe with that. Be safe to the words that you are using. To improve email deliverability, ensure your email campaign follow best practices and maintain a positive sender reputation. Remember on the previous video, we've been using React email to create very nice email. And you've got a good example on the email that you can send. All right, so we've got this big email and here we see that we've got a tons of content, a tons of line because here it's some kind of newsletter. But most of the time, the emails that we are looking at don't get that much content. So with this just very low quantity of content, here you avoid two things. The first thing is that people are not watching emails that long. It's really hard to let them stay into um, reading an email. It's exactly the same for YouTube videos, actually. So most of the time you want to send emails that are really short. Um, you go straight to the point. You deliver value. And in one sentence or two, you deliver a message if it's a notification or something else. However, if it's like a newsletter, you're not obliged to have a short content. Most of the time people will subscribe because they, they are waiting for a long content. So you've got to be safe, but here on React Email, on the demo here, you've got good examples 
on emails that you could actually copy uh, for your startup or your product to send uh, to your customers. The events on Resend are really important. They give you information on um, the status of every email that you send. And it also gives you actually insights of email that you should clean from your database or not. Or even it gives you insight about the fact that some clients should probably update their email on their account. I'm most sure that if you are building a product and you want to use Resend, you are going to use the dashboard every day. And you will find here all the information about every steps of your email campaign.